A normal home in Sierra Leone, an entire family, and one water-loving daughter. I live here with my seven children. My husband got sick and died in 2012, so I sell food and ban chako to make ends meet. I hear one of my daughters, KK, is the only female surfer in Sierra Leone. I'm very proud of her. It was after her father died that Kadiatu Kamara was determined to learn how to surf. And then I stay with the boys one year, I know how to stand, and then they always teach me how to swim. But like, I started the surfing before ever they teach me how to swim. Surfing is considered a male sport here in Sierra Leone, but this 19-year-old has over the years been changing perceptions. I need plenty of girls to come in the surf club to learn how to surf. As for me, when I'm surfing in the, in the water with the boys, I'm very sad because when I turn this left, I never saw the girls. When I turn right, I never saw the girls. So I'm very sad. At just 19 years old, KK is already a household name here in Sierra Leone. But she's not done yet. She believes that her passion for the water will take her beyond Bure Beach to places she's only dreamed of. Surfing changed my lifestyle. Yeah. And then when I stay with my friends, I'm always proud of myself because I'm the only female surfer. So that's why I want to continue this surfing. Because I have, I have faith in God that I will not going to stay in Sierra Leone. I want to travel in a plenty countries. I want to surf in a plenty countries. And she may get the chance. The International Surfing Association in the United States has taken notice of her. It's currently sponsoring her high school education. When she's not at school or in the water, KK works as a waitress. She makes enough money to help her mother out at home. And at the end of the day, KK says no matter where life takes her, she'll always return home to Bura Beach and put it on the map as a surfing hotspot. Catherine Omwando, CCTV, Bura Beach, Sierra Leone.